Hey guys, what's up? Today, I bought this house right here. So, let's go check this thing out. Hey guys, what's up? Today, I bought this house right here. And the crazy thing is, is I've been trying to buy this house for about 10 months because I own that house right there. And I've owned that house right there for probably about two and a half years and I've rented out. And I've been trying to buy this one because it's just, you know, kind of run down. Kind of looks like it needs, you know, a little love. And I rehabbed that one there and there's some tenants living there. You can see we got three cars. I'm just so happy because I got this one today. So let's go check this thing out. This is uh, gonna be most likely a rental. However, I may try to flip this one for a quick sale. Just see what happens. Uh, but most likely keep this one as a rental as well. All right, guys, let's check it out. We got, so this is the one I already own right there. It's awesome. All right, let's check this one out. I was told, always carry these with you. When you buy a house, you're ready and prepared. So I was told that the key was in the air conditioner. Just closed on this today. So we're gonna find it. You guys are gonna experience what it's like to take possession of a property sometimes. We haven't done this already. Here it is, see? I should have just lifted that up to begin with, but sometimes it's hidden in here or in here. Sometimes it can be hanging off a screw. You never know. It's always a little different. We found it though. We got ourselves a set of keys. Whew, man, look at this backyard. It's rare you see bamboo growing in St. Louis, Missouri. It's kind of cool though. You got this whole yard full of bamboo on the fence line. It's not a very large yard, not a very large house. But that's kind of cool. Probably pretty invasive in two or three years it's going to be half the yard, but if you keep up on it, it's kind of neat. It gives you a little bit of privacy. All right, should we go in this door? Let's try to go to the front. It makes it easier. Let people know that we're here and that we're not breaking in it by just being obvious about the fact that we're here. The door's open too, look at that. Glad I came. All right. I think the power's probably off. Oh, we got power actually, that's good. Anybody here? Hello? All right, my light is not charged. There's two bed, three bedrooms, bathroom. There's our kitchen. Got some stuff in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the basement. I don't even need to go down there in this video. Been there before. I'll share the pictures of the house in the description of this video. I'm gonna place a lockbox. That's the whole reason why I'm here. So. All right, lockboxes are great. They're so easy to use if you don't know. They're gonna come set with all zeros typically. I get these things for about $8.50 in bulk. I buy them 100 at a time. If you go to Home Depot, you're gonna pay about 25 or 30 bucks. So for your first deal, just buy one or two. You don't need a bunch. But over time, these things are gonna be great. They're gonna come with all zeros. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little piece out right here and move this lever. All right, and that will allow you to change the code. And if it's opposite of where it came, then you can change the code. So in this example video, we're gonna just say, you know, we want it to be one, two, three, four. And the lock box will close. It's not working with one hand, so I gotta put it on the ground. But now, with it being one, two, three, four, 
The last box will open and close. So if I move that a number, it won't. It's got to be exact. One, two, three, four. From here, I'm going to make sure the door is locked. Sweet. And, well, we'll keep the keys together. Put those in there. One, two, three, four. And what did I do? I forgot. I got to place this on the door. So I got to use this little lever. Pull it sideways and it releases it. And then, check it up like that. And it's at one, two, three, four. Let me just change the code. One, two, three, four is the code. And we'll leave it at that. Send that to our guys. So we're gonna put a lockbox on it. We're going to call our clean out crew. We're gonna have them come over, give us a bid to clean it out. We're gonna have them clean it out, haul that stuff out. And then we're gonna reanalyze. We're gonna come back and figure out what is the highest and best use. So we try to list it and make a quick buck. Do we fix it and, and sell it? Or do we keep it as a rental? Because I already own the one right there. So we're gonna do it, figure it out, let's go. Mm -hmm.